So, and it goes on. Let's go into Daniel chapter 8. Now, we're not in Daniel chapter 9 now. We're going to backtrack into Daniel chapter 8. Because logic, of course, tells you whether you're a spiritual man or not. Let's simply look at this logically. All of this has to um, tie together this angel visiting Daniel various times, as from Daniel chapter 7. He would frequently have these visitations um, from this angel. And this angel um, is named as Gabriel on a couple of occasions, of a couple of times. And so the logic here would be that the angel visiting Daniel is indeed Gabriel each time. Well, in Daniel chapter A, again, Daniel um, receives a prophecy and the prophecy telling him what to expect from this false and fake Messiah. <clears throat> well, this false and fake Messiah destroys many with peace. Let's open that word up, um, peace. Peace and what? Peace and safety. What is the um, uh, song of every politician on earth? That they're going to bring us peace and safety. Vote for me. Follow me, listen to me, and I will bring you peace and um, security and safety. When you look at it like that, you can see how um, by peace, um, he, he, this Antichrist, this um, false and fake Messiah, this Prince of the Covenant, this Prince of the Covenant being the last week of Daniel, the one that initiates and brings in this last week of Daniel, which will indeed be the very um, false and fake Messiah, the false and fake Prince of Peace, as opposed to the true Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. So in Daniel chapter 8, and through his policy, now this, this is the Antichrist coming in. <clears throat> Daniel 8, chapter, uh, verse 5. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hands. So in other words, he's bringing in all of this scientific witchcraft. And this is what he, um, he causes to prosper in his hands. So he'd be a kind of a man of science. So what we're looking at here is scientific witchcraft coming in. And this would be the policy of the Antichrist. And you're looking at the eventual abomination of desolation. Or in other words, the image of the beast. All of this um, having its roots in science. So through his policy also, um, and through his policy also, he shall cause craft, scientific witchcraft. So he comes in and he um, promotes science, is his policy. And he shall magnify himself in his heart and by peace shall destroy many. So he first comes in, like every politician that comes in, that seeks your vote, that seeks power, with the, um, the usual song and dance of peace and safety. So he's offering the world peace and safety. So you picture him coming in at the time of great trouble, great turmoil, great um, quarrels in the world, great distress amongst nations with perplexity, great troubles in the world, even stemming out of the Middle East, the world tottering on the brink of a nice knife edge, and that knife edge being in the Middle East. So he stands to power, he comes up out of the north, it says. <clears throat> and appears to solve the problems in the Middle East. Therefore, many looking at the crisis today and its complexities and how there's been various um, peace initiatives in the past, peace agreements in the past in, in Israel. Many um, promising peace and yet you still have war. You still have trouble. You still have woe. You still have desolations. In fact, Daniel prophesied that desolations are determined upon the land of Israel. Desolations determined upon the, uh, the land of Israel prophesied by Daniel, um, even um, going back um, in 70 AD, all of this prophesied by Daniel um, in Daniel chapter 9, um, even Daniel um, prophesying of the um, the third temple, um, you would picture uh, when you look at these prophecies because of the way they're worded. So many assuming 
and believing there will be a third temple. <clears throat> but first, this man of sin has to step onto the world stage. Now, many um, what's called pre-tribbers, um, assuming that um, the first hint or signs of the Antichrist coming in will be their ticket out of here. And so they talk of the um, last week of Daniel um, with mixed feelings, one um, being that this will be the end to their um, tribulation troubles and woe on earth, because be uh, behold, the Antichrist is coming in, bringing in the great tribulation. Whereas in reality, he doesn't come in bringing the great tribulation. He brings it, he comes in and by peace, it says. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. So he brings in a more scientific age, along with the image of the beast eventually. And he, <clears throat> and he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also um, stand up against the prince of princes. This is Jesus. But he shall be broken without hand. So broken without hand means he's broken at the second coming of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ coming after the tribulation of those days. So the forecast for the world would be times of great trouble, times of great woe, times of great um, distress amongst nations with perplexity and even a time of war, time of economic um, uh, uncertainty or even a time of economic crash and, and, um, uh, and um, hardship and woe regarding even the question um, of hunger, etc., so should a world be touched by a crisis um, that will touch every soul and bring great insecurities? God is not the author of confusion. So if God is not the author of, the, of confusion, then it begs the question, who is? It will obviously be his opponent, his opponent being the devil. The Antichrist will bring in great confusion. And then um, step onto the world stage and by peace, promising the world peace and safety by peace, he shall destroy many. So what will happen to a lot of these pre-tribbers when suddenly um, this man of sin is revealed and steps onto the world stage and brings in, talks with talk, great talk, great words um, of peace. And by peace destroying many, peace being the bait here, promising the world peace and, and security, safety and security. And many, of course, biting on that, on the bait, on that big um, uh, hook, that um, big fat worm being peace, safety and security. And so by peace, he destroys many. So the forecast for the world is in fact that this man of sin is going to step onto the world stage, this um, false and fake Messiah, and by peace um, destroys many, and he, shall, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to cease. So he takes away the religious worship of the Jews, which points to the great potential for a, a third temple, if there's animal sacrifice, then there has to be a third temple. So, and he shall cause the sacrifice and oblation to um, cease, and for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. So he breaks the holy covenant in the midst of the week. And Jesus said, when you shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, then shall be great tribulation. So when is the um, abomination of desolation placed? It's placed in the middle of the week. It's placed in the middle of this last seven years. And when the holy, um, and when the holy covenant is broken and the placing of the abomination and, and uh, the breaking of the holy covenant is implemented, this brings in the last three and a half years of great tribulation. 
Jesus warning every Christian, which points to the reality that the Christians are indeed going to be here. When you shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, then shall be great tribulation. So the great tribulation lasting for three and a half years when the covenant is broken in the midst of the week. So praise Jesus.